In this short recording, I'll show how to create a Landsweeper to ServiceNow synchronization job using the CI Sync user interface. And for this job in particular, I'll show how to include digital certificates as a CI to CI relationship in my ServiceNow CMDB. Firstly, I'll work through the creation of the CI Sync job itself. Then I'll skip over to a ServiceNow instance and show what the data looks like in my CMDB. Creating the Sync job takes five simple steps. In the first step, I select my environment, test or prod. I choose my source data, which is a global Landsweeper SQL database. And then I choose my destination, which is my ServiceNow CMDB. In step two, I select from the large list of predefined Landsweeper asset and related records. In step three, I'm now seeing a list of all of the available CI to CI relationships. In among the large list of default relationship types, you can see this little nugget of gold. CI Sync will use Landsweeper discovered digital certificates to set relationships between the Windows servers and their related digital certificates. In step four, I can either run the job now or schedule it. I'll run it now. And in step five, I confirm my selections and click go. The relevant cloud services will now dynamically spin up and shortly my ServiceNow CMDB will be updated to include my Windows servers and their related digital certificates. And that's how simple CMDB automation should be. I'll let the job run for a moment and then skip over to a ServiceNow instance and show the results. To complete this demonstration, I've toggled over to a ServiceNow instance to show the Landsweeper data synchronized into the CMDB using CI Synchronizer. You'll recall we set the synchronization job to include Windows Server Certificate relationships. Let's see where this data arrives in the CMDB and how it can be used. Firstly, I'll open one of the Windows servers. Looking at the CI record, we see the attribute details discovered by Landsweeper. And in the center of this form, we see the relationships, in particular certificate relationships for the purpose of this demonstration. Clicking on one of those certificates, we drill in and can see the validity details and in particular, the expiry date of this certificate. Most importantly, we can see all other devices in our environment that are also using the same digital certificate. With this data in the CMDB, we can create dashboards and reports to identify devices that are at risk of an unplanned outage resulting from an expired certificate. And we can create workflows with remediation tasks for the teams supporting these servers. While I'm on this screen, I'll briefly show a dependency diagram representing visually the use of this certificate in the environment. It will take a moment to render given how many devices are, are dependent on this particular certificate. But certainly, in terms of risk assessment and risk mitigation, the ability to visualize this information gives a clear appreciation of how many devices and their downstream dependencies are dependent on this one digital certificate. All of this being created and maintained automatically using data from Landsweeper synchronized through CI Sync. Thanks for watching and I hope this shows the simplicity and sophistication of a Landsweeper and ServiceNow CMDB integration using CI Sync. If you want to solve CMDB automation, reach out to Landsweeper and Syncfish. And thanks for watching.